to say one or 500 quid. You can't be bad to it, guys. Morning all. Today we are back in the warehouse, garage slash money, money cabin, money house. I don't know, I'll work on that, but back in, gonna get the laptop fired up. We actually got a new laptop, finally, and that's why we haven't been making much content. This is my old laptop, the new laptop's arrived. Bit of issues getting software installed, but we're, we're cooking. So uh, we'll be getting a load of new content coming out now. I'm actually going away here. Um, it was Easter break. We had a lovely time away at a cottage, some good times. If you've got me on the socials, you'll have seen that. Then it was my wife's birthday on April Fool's Day. Fool was bored, ha ha ha. So it was my wife's birthday, we went out, got way, way too messed up, um, died all day Tuesday. Yesterday, I'll show you this. Um, I'm manually dropping off a load of Amazon boxes, so in the car here, oh, the car's locked. Can you see inside? Boxes. There's about three Amazon boxes in the boot, which is good. A load of uh, my toy supply, my makeup supplier, um, and a couple of other pieces from the online deal sheets. Um, all different things, makeup, toothpaste, all of this you can kind of see over here. These are all things bought from um, the deal sheet. So we're going to get all that shipped in. But today, these three boxes came. One, two, and three. And then three boxes is a brand that I have on. So, delighted to have got that in. That's been imported from uh, California, of all places, America. So, you have to play your X E O R I to get it in through customs, then the Northern Irish uh, joy that there is. But pretty much, you pay FedEx, they deliver it, they weigh it, they ship it in, you pay your custom fees, your VAT, everything on top, and then you finally get your product. But shipping in from America, once you've placed an order and you're quick to pay your FedEx, FedEx are actually quite good because what they do is they pay all the duty in advance. So if you miss it by a day or two, it's not like your parcel's held up. They pay it all on account um, and you get to do a bit of grace period there. So that's really good, um, but I paid it quickly anyway. So the parcels have arrived. Believe it or not, these are little like beauty product things um, and I have about 200 units. They're tiny, little things sort of like this size. 200 units in them so the plan is now the warehouses are running pretty low on most of the product I'm going to ship in a bucket load just to get me through the next week because on Friday which is tomorrow I shoot off at half six in the morning and I'm going to New York City baby for one night bus up to Philadelphia Philadelphia for Wrestlemania you know um, and the joyful thing about doing Amazon FBA is I can plan my, my week ahead I need to get a list done. Video recording is happening right now. You're going to see me do this. You're hearing about the story. You're hearing about the journey. You're seeing behind the scenes. You're not like everybody else. You're just you know, talking about doing things, but you never actually see them doing things, or you see them going around scanning a couple of things in Tesco's, making you think that they're doing it. But in actual fact, you never see them balls deep packing boxes. You never see them do it because they don't do it. They're just trying to sell you courses. We're not doing that. We're trying to show you the whole thing. I'm learning. I'm showing you what I do, what the team does, how we do it. Um, and you can learn a lot. So I really hope you find this video informative. But yes, trying to get these things packed up. So I'm going to set up uh, the windows now. Get a bit of light in this bitch. We're actually, there's my, my hot tub. We're getting the hot tub back on uh, this weekend, which will be lovely um, to, wait, to help the, the weary bones. But yes, this is the plan. Going to set up the printer now, get the internet turned on. You need your, your internet on. And uh, yeah, we'll get the laptop fired up, start packing these things, getting the labels on. I'll do a bit of um, stop, start talking throughout and uh, show you again the process again, just because I think these videos people find very informative because they can kind of see behind the scenes and just tips and tricks as they come to me, I share with you, so stay tuned. Okay, now I've got you set up, so essential things. Stanley knife, goes without saying. Um, Stanley knife, you wanna have uh, your labels all good to go, a printer, get, get a thermal printer. Thermal printer's cheap. I still use this basic one here, um, I'll show you. 
Um, it's called Moonbeam or something. So interesting enough, you don't need ink. Um, a lot of people maybe don't realize that. Um, I didn't realize that. I was like, oh, well, I need an ink cartridge. You don't. These things actually print to the paper. It's the paper that's thermal, so it like burns the, the marks on it. So that's that's really good. So this actually pays for itself because um, you'll save a lot on ink. The paper's obviously dearer than normal paper, but you'll still save a lot. These labels, vitamin bulk, um, and the same with the same with these labels, it's vitamin bulk. I've showed you the video before, I think, where I've got them all up here. Hundreds, probably a year supply of them. If you're investing in this business and you know you're going to do it, buy them. You know, it's simple as that. You're going to use them anyway. So just going through, opening up. Um, I've got a scale. I bought this because I like the printer. This scale, I'll be honest, it's crap. It's uh, not, a, not a bad scale, but it's just too small. Any big boxes, you can't see it. I mean, it's, it's terrible, like the view of it. You can't really make... Um, and, and it's coming off a bit as well. <laughs> that wasn't a great buy. But you can get these things on eBay secondhand. Cost you very little money. Um, I think I think for both, it was like something like 60 quid. So definitely recommend that. Initially when you're first doing your first few Amazon boxes, use a printer, that's what I do. But you know, when you when you get into this after a couple of years, or not even a couple of years, after, after you know a couple of months of doing this, you, you, just, you just want things to be easier. The labels are a nightmare, although I will say I've had a real issue with using a different laptop trying to get the settings set up, but that's a whole different story. You'll see plenty of other things, you're probably wondering what all these boxes are. Um, we're still doing our Brit deals, which is just buying X warehouse Amazon crop, that's what that is. That's a nice little side hustle to complement things. Um, this lot actually was pretty crap. Well, they're really, really profitable. I kind of do that just if I want money, uh, quick, quick cash. Um, and usually the quick cash is for expenses such as wife's birthdays, Wrestlemania, cottage away at the weekend, busy week, you need a couple of grand, you want to enjoy yourself, I buy a couple of lots, I work hard for three, four days, get all the stuff cleaned up, get it all on eBay, get it all on Facebook Marketplace and ship it all out um, and the money just rolls in. So I like to do that for quick cash. Uh, the Amazon is for the business. So we're packing up our boxes here. Um, yeah, like... This, this story space, I have to admit, it's just so good. Um, a lot of people won't have the luxury of doing this, where they may be doing it on a sofa, and they're doing it on the floor. It takes you so much longer. If you have it, like a system in place, put your box here, your, toy, your, your toys or whatever your goods are here, and you're just sort of labeling them and putting them in, it just speeds up the whole process. It saves your back. I can't, <laughs> I'm getting older, guys, you know what I mean? I'm 35 now, so your back is, is vital. When you're leaning over and you're doing all that, your back, it, will cause a strain. So think about all of this, think about your business, think about how big you want it to be. And if you're being serious about it, you'll know after a few months, once you start doing it, that this actually works. It's not, it's not a scam, it's not what people are just saying on YouTube or the internet. This actually can be a business model that works for you. Once you start doing that, and putting things in practice, you've got to invest, you've got to invest in it. Um, so yeah, plenty of things uh, to be shipping in. So I'll come back again with another bit in the moment. Another question that I get asked is, can you actually put the boxes like this? So what I would do is just usually rip the sides of it off and put the item in uh, the box with it. Depends on what it is, you know, the, the, these things that I'm actually shipping are quite sturdy, so they don't really need to be in a box, but if you're doing like makeup, anything with, with glass or something like that, you know, you, you use, try to use boxes to separate it, especially if you're doing high quantities. I mean, yesterday when I was doing my makeup order, the box was was only about this size, so it wasn't a huge box. But inside that, I had like 140 units or something, because it was all things like, you know, little tiny makeups. So I, uh, I made sure to put them in as many boxes, just to make it easier, because you'll find that Amazon will lose your products or miscount. Close my mind how that's possible, but that's what does happen. So you try your best to give them as much help as possible by separating everything and making sure uh, everything is uh, is easy for them to count as possible. I mean, mistakes will still happen, but at least if you're doing everything in your power to stop it from happening, well, what more can you say? So I'm just going through here when you get uh, wholesale orders. Try to find if the box can be opened at a bottom way where all the barcodes are, it makes life easier than there. 
stick all the stickers on, very easy. So I'm just going through now and opening up all these boxes to make them easy for me then to uh, take out and pack in the boxes. So that's that. Now, what time is it right now? It is 10.20 a.m. Uh, we'll come back. I would imagine everything will be done by about 11 a.m. So wish me luck. I actually just thought I would show you this here as best I can without giving away my screen. So hopefully you can see there, there's 112 units being packed and the time is 10.20. I just realized that they forgot to show you the bit that everybody loves. Printing of the labels. But as you can see, that's a lot of labels and it comes out in no time and they're all little sticky bad boys. So yeah, it's time to get these stuck. Time now is 10.30. So we've been 10 minutes. 10 minutes, the boxes are open, the labels are printed. There's only actually one, two, three, four. There's only actually four products, 120 units going in. The box is packed up. As you can probably see here, the time, trying not to show my, what the products are like, but you can probably see there, I don't know if you can. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this upside down, but it's 10, 10.53. So in about 20 minutes, we've got the labels packed up. 110 units, not shipping everything in, and I was just explaining, um, the reason I don't ship in everything is because I buy, like I said, it's coming from America as well, but usually when you buy wholesale orders, there's a maximum or limited, there's a minimum, sorry, uh, quantity that you can purchase. So for the minimum quantity of certain items, there was 32 units, there was 24 units, and then there's a box of 12. Um, some of the products you just had to buy the minimum. So I bought the minimum boxes, but some of the ones, say for example, the, the one that's a uh, quantity of 32 in a box, I actually bought four of those boxes because they were selling really well. So look, it's all about infantry management, but I look at it going, well, look, I don't need to ship in all four of those boxes. So I've shipped in two out of the four, and I've just done a bit of mix and match, and it means I've always got infantry, and I do that for all of my own personal stuff that I buy, whether it be a deal sheet, whether it be a wholesale order. If, especially if it's new product, I don't like to ship it in uh, blind. I like to ship it in and see how it goes, because I've been burned before, maybe that's an old habit, but I've been burned before that on new items, sometimes you ship it in, Amazon take it down, you have to do a removal order. Now, it looks to be the removal orders to Northern Ireland, they're back on, which is a big, big relief. Uh, but previously, if I had to ship in something, I had to get disposed of it, I had to ship it to my over fulfillment center, or I had to get a friend or a family or something. It was just crazy over the years. So now it's just so much easier to be able to remove the items as and when. But I do like to ship in, see how it sells. Sometimes it says maybe two, three units a month. Most people wouldn't go near those things. I do. Um, and if it's a, a toy wholesaler or whatever, and maybe there's a minimum quantity of 10 or a box is, is, is got eight in it, and you're thinking, God, it might take sit there for four or five months before they sell. Well, that's okay. It can sit in my garage. It's not cost me anything. The item's there, and if it sells better, happy days. If it takes longer, so be it. It's not doing no harm. The items are there, and eventually they will sell. So that's part of the way I do it, rightly or wrongly. I enjoy the infantry management. I probably micromanage it a wee bit too much. That's not needed. But at the start, why not do that? I think it's best practice, and it's just a practice that I've enjoyed and I like. And like I said, now I've always got enough. I mean, I probably got enough here. Uh, I'd say six, seven hundred quid's worth of infantry in my garage at any one time. It's always there. It's always sitting, ready to be replenished. And that's kind of the way that I do it. And uh, I don't foresee that changing anytime soon. Like I said, the fulfillment center is the tried and tested wholesale orders that come in from my two suppliers go straight into the fulfillment center. They deal with it the way they deal with it and I tend to go for the faster selling stuff because I don't want it sitting then in the fulfillment center, my personal fulfillment center, because uh, it'll just cost me more money. So that's where that is. That's why in my house with this space I have, I'll take a chance on the lower sale stuff. And that's a wee niche that I think is a special sweet spot to be in and a lot of people don't look at it and that's where I really make fantastic ROI so that's a, a really secret trip but or secret trick for you got to get the labels on this get this off the Amazon now and that's it so hopefully you have found that video uh, reasonably informative we've made an absolute fortune 110 units making four to five pound per unit we'll split the difference say that's four pound fifty a unit so that's going to be 495 pound we'll just say 500 pound for round figures 500 pound in the placement of the order took about 10 minutes and that has took me half an hour 40 minutes to pack all the box so say one hour 500 quid 
You can't be bad to it, guys. Get on it.